today I bought over 150 random mystery Ninjago minifigures from eBay. I've opened every last one of them. Like, for example, this box here, which cost me $20, and I have absolutely oh, okay. no idea what's in it. Let's go ahead and open it. I went ahead and picked up three of these random minifigure bundles on eBay. And throughout this video, I was on a mission to see just how many amazing minifigures I could get. And believe me, I got some ridiculous finds here. There could literally be any minifigures in here. There could also be um, some really dangerous stuff in here. So let's fingers crossed that you don't like die over this. Oh, okay, okay, this is looking pretty good. This is looking very good. Oh my days. Look. This. Oh my bro, we've actually hit the monologue. We have actually hit the monologue. This is actually insane. It is filled to the brim with Ninjago minifigures. I'm actually physically gonna like lose my mind right now. This is ridiculous. Oh my word. Oh, oh yes! Yes! Oh my word! Look at all of this. This must be like 50 minifigures or something crazy. This is ridiculous. Look at some of these. Look at some of these minifigures, man. All right, fellas. Let's just have a look through these and just see what we are working with here because this is insane. Let's start with the Kai minifigures, shall we? We've got two 2012 Kai minifigures, a Ninjago hunted version of Kai, two Day of the Departed Kai's, a Tournament of Elements Kai, even a Ninjago movie Kai, Skybound Kai, Legacy Golden Kai, and another hunted Kai. In fact, they actually got like three of this guy. So uh, Kai from season 11 with his big, like, spinjutsu hair thing. As well as Sensei Kai and Season 7 Kai. 13 Kai minifigures. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I love Kai. What can I say? Then for J, fellas, we've got three Season 1 J minifigures. I mean, in all of these boxes that I opened, there are minifigures from literally every single era of Ninjago. Nothing is off the table here, okay? We also got ourselves a Legacy J, Ninjago Core J, Forbidden Spinjitsu J, as well as, of course, a weird 4 plus uh, amount of Jay. Here's the departed Jay with Cole's face for some reason. He needs to trim those eyebrows, man. You look ridiculous. We got two Sensei Jays, Season 5 Ejutsu Jay and Season 5 Possession Jay. Gorgeous. Then for Zane, we got ourselves Titanium Zane, Crystallize Zane, Core Zane, Season 1 Zane, Season 2 Zane, Season 11 Zane. We even got rebooted Zane with his absolutely abominable trim. This barber is a criminal. And we've also got loads of Lloyd minifigures like Golden Crystallized Lloyd, Skin Jitsu Burst Lloyd, the 2012 Lloyd from this book here, which is so nostalgic to me. Rebooted Lloyd, Legacy Lloyd, Movie Lloyd, and Legacy Golden Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd, I'm gonna actually fight you. So put him up right now, buddy. For Cole, we've got three Possession Cole minifigures. We've got Season 11 Cole, Dave the Departed Cole with this cool head. He's got like a crack going down him. Very nice. But we've also got ourselves tons of villains here. I mean, look, we've got the likes of, like, you know, Morrow, Lord Garmadon, some Stone Warriors, some Ghosts. This is just an extra bonus. But there was also loads of other minifigures, like Skylar from the Tournament of Elements, two Pixel Samurai X minifigures, Sora, two Legacy Nias, and a movie version. Not to mention, two Sensei Woos. Fantastic, but fellas, that is all of the minifigures in the first box, but... <laughs> I can feel something growing inside of me. Um, I have another parcel, apparently. Ladies, please keep your distance. Because what this package contains, you are not ready for. Okay, alright guys, so this is the second package, and um, I think this one cost me about $15, so uh, let's see if I've made my money back, shall we? Let's crack this bad boy open, shall we? Let's see what we're working with. This is the moment of truth, boys, and we've got one bag and uh, another bag. Okay, alright, let's just approach these very carefully. Alright, so this looks like it's pretty much just like exclusively villains. Oh my days, Anacondro Warriors. Yes, please. This is already looking insane. There's just some, some random uh, mismatched minifigure here, which is, you know, that's fine. Let's have a look at this other bag, shall we? No look. This is no look. Let's see. I feel a big fig. Alright, this is the uh, big fig. Now, I'm gonna do a, let's do a live reaction. Three, two, one. What? Bro, oh, this mini. What is a. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? Yeah, I'm maybe five foot eight. Stand on my big fig, I'm six foot two. Bro, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. The average price for this minifigure is $32. 
dollars. Bro, I'm actually, I'm actually minted right now. Let's see what else we've got, shall we? Right, we've got ourselves some Shen Warriors. Yeah, we've got four of these guys. Here are some of my favorite villains from the show, by the way. As well as this one dude here who has these shoulder pads on. He's putting like a general or something. And also an Anaconda Drive Snake Warrior. I mean, these minifigures here are very difficult to get. They didn't come in a lot of sets, but they are absolutely insanely nice minifigures. Insanely nice. We also got a Master Shen, who is also probably one of the most goated characters in all of fiction. I would probably lay my life down for this man. He is amazing. We also got some skeleton minifigures, like this Jester here from Season 1, as well as some other mismatched one, and this one skeleton. He happens to be missing a leg. <laughs> Ninja, come back! Uh, uh, uh. We also got ourselves some minifigures from Skybound, like Nadakan, who's one of the best villains in the show. We got a doubloon minifigure. We also got ourselves the Lego minifigure Ninja Female Pirate Girl Siren Belt outfit. Um, this is literally the name that Google has given this minifigure. Guys, this is not a good look. This is not a good look at all. And of course, I got three of her as well. Um, let's call her, uh, Tracy. This is Tracy now. We also got ourselves a Flintlock minifigure and, like, absolutely tons of other foot soldier sky pirates. Kind of ironic, because they actually go in the sky, but anyway. We also got some ghost representation with a ghost with a hat. And a ghost with a hat number two. Ghost with a hat number three. Some flying ghost man. And, of course, some Vermilion warriors who actually never went ahead and got my hands on because way back in 2017 I was too busy making some absolutely brilliant uh, Minecraft videos on a channel that nobody knows about. <laughs> this is actually insane because I didn't know they made your mom was an Injago minifigure. You also went ahead and chucked in a few good guys like you know we've got ourselves this Edges who called Tournaments of Elements Kai and Season 7 J. And of course everybody's favourite Dog Shan who is absolutely massive. I mean her arms literally can just rip them off. I mean you struggle in real life because she's pretty built like a brick house. I love it. I love it. And this box here was over 38 minifigures and obviously things were coming together very nicely now but boys we still had one box left and this was pretty ridiculous and by the sound of it there is some lego in here all right i am very very excited to see what we've got here we've got a bag of minifigures here there we go look at that that is full to the brim boys this looks like it could be pretty incredible to be honest with you we've got we've got a little loin we've got some kai's okay i'm very excited right now and here we go the big reveal big reveal oh yeah oh my god dude this seriously is like a ton of minifigures this is a ton of minifigures, man. Pretty much all of these are just like all of the ninja. Like, this is just exclusively ninja. And um, this, this is Lloyd, I think. Okay. You did not need to put him in this box, did you? I'm gonna kill you! Basically, this entire box was exclusively heroes. 55 minifigures, every single one being one of the ninja, which is amazing. But let's start out with Jay, where we've got ourselves Tournaments of Elements, Season 1, Season 13 Jay, Legacy Jay, Rebooted Jay, 2012 Jay, <gasps> Hunter Jay, Iron Jay, Season 7 Jay, Season 11 Jay, Season 4 Jay, Movie Jay, and Season 12 Jay. That has a lot of minifigures. And we've also got some Nia minifigures like Season 11 Nia, Hunted Nia, Skybound Nia, Master of the Mountain Season 13 Nia, even Possession Nia, who is one of my favourite minifigures of all time. And for Kai, we've also got an insane amount of minifigures. Okay, this is gonna, uh, this is gonna maybe take years off my life doing this. Hands of Time Kai, Season 2 Kai, Season 4 Kai with the hood, Season 4 Kai without the hood, Crime Empire Kai, Season 11 Kai, Season 8 Kai, Rebooted Kai, Island Kai, Legacy Kai, Movie Kai, Season 1 Kai, and Skybound Kai. Literally a version of Kai from pretty much every single season of the genre. From all across the years, from 2011 right all the way up to like 2022 or whatever. So many minifigures. It's absolutely just ridiculous and it's made my day. I mean, even Zane has some great minifigures like Season 11 Zane, Season 8 Zane, The Movie Zane, Titanium Zane again, and Hands of Time Zane. And with Cole, we got ourselves Season 4 Cole, Season 8 Cole, another Season 4 Cole. Movie Call, Skybound Call, Hand of Time Call, Season 11 Call, and Season 3 Call. As for Lloyd, we got ourselves Skybound Lloyd, Hunted Lloyd, Sons of Garmadon Lloyd, and another Book Lloyd with his armor this time. Upgrading the previous minifigure that I absolutely adored as a kid. Hate Lloyd, but that minifigure's alright, to be fair. Shoot me, shoot me. We've also got Season 13 Lloyd, Season 12 Lloyd, and Season 11 Lloyd. Honestly, again, you know, Season 11, I wasn't really into Ninjago at that point, so it's great to get some more minifigures. Thank you. 
Those who have a movie, Lloyd, and Armored Season 3, Lloyd. Now, this minifigure is actually pretty difficult to get, I'm pretty sure. It literally only came in the biggest set from 2013, which was really difficult to get your hands on if you weren't, like, you know, a legal adult, because I looked like this in 2013, and I was not convincing anybody to buy anything from them. As well as, of course, drum roll, please, Young Lloyd. Who is garbage, but you know. Now what was left to do was to put all of these minifigures together to look once and for all at what I'd actually got to myself, which was 166 fantastic minifigures with literally dozens of each type of character from every single season of Ninjago pretty much, all the way from 2011 up to 2024. Genuinely one of the most insane collections of minifigures that I've ever seen in my entire life. Fellas, let me know if this was a good deal and if I should buy more minifigures because I am now incredibly broke and um, I really need you guys to subscribe. Cheers.